semi-final was more impressive from him. He was good in the semi, no, no doubt, but not as as dominant. So I think for me, I still think Mbappe should have won player of the tournament, especially with the three goals in the final. And his second, I mean, wasn't a penalty. Messi scored penalties. So, yeah, I think uh, Mbappe overall had a slightly better tournament, tournament and impact than, than Messi, but because he's on the winning side and because he's Messi, then he was given the, the golden ball. Yeah, we expected uh, a little bit more from Usman uh, because of his, uh, his performance in club, you know, and fortunately he was unable to, to replicate that. Uh, and also uh, the thing is when you have Kylian doing so much so well, <laughs> he's, he's putting uh, the, high so, the bar so high. It's, then they, uh, for the other players, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's difficult, that's not the right word, but it's, it's challenging. Challenging, yeah. I think there is the desire from the French Federation uh, to continue with Didier, uh, because soon uh, you have to qualify for the Euro and, and uh, the fact that you you draw in the final, you don't you don't lose the final. You lose in penalty shootout, so uh, you can consider yourself as World Cup winner, even if you don't have the trophy, the title. Um, he should, yeah, he should stay because the team uh, clearly followed this lead, and he has the uh, um, he has everybody's. Backup from the players, and that's the most important. Absolutely not. <laughs> we uh, he was out for what, four or five years, uh, and that's a shame. But uh, that's, that's what it is. So yeah, PT couldn't couldn't be there at the World Cup because uh, clearly the last two seasons was his best, and. Um, yeah, for us, the French fan, we would have enjoyed him very much in wearing the, the French jersey. Some dynamics will will change, I think, um, because there was time to obviously have a break, but also players and managers and staff had time to work together on certain things and normally for the better. So you would expect uh, the sometimes the negative dynamic to slightly improve or improve completely, you know. Um, and normally after this period of, of break you, you become a, a better side on certain aspects. So you would hope that it should bring a lot of positives in many, many, many clubs. The English players, Marcus Rashford, Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, to, to come back with a, a positive mindset and have a better second half of the season. Um, for the rest who were involved, I don't see much much difference. Um, no, no. Um, no, I don't see anything specific in regards of players who were involved at United or during the World Cup or the one that had the, had the break, maybe uh, I just hope Anthony Marshall will, will be fit and and um, and score and yeah, just play, play regularly for the for the team and bring his 
these qualities to, to the team. Now I think, uh, yeah, it's important to, to start strong, set the tone, you know, so, yeah, there might be uh, a few changes, but not that much because Burn is a good side in the championship. Um, you want to fight in the competition uh, and try to win it. So I think they will be. It's important to 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 play. Yeah, probably the strongest, knowing that some some players come back for the World Cup might be rested. So I think it's going to be a, a mix, but uh, certainly uh, not a, a run for the for the youngest youngest players. United should uh, consider any competition uh, because to build success you need to start somewhere and uh, whether it's Carabao Cup or uh, the league or the UEFA in Europa League it's, it's important to feature well and, and take advantage of an opportunity and this is clearly an opportunity to, to do it. There is no more Games like this for United a straightforward win. Unfortunately, it used to be like this, but not anymore. Uh, Old Trafford needs to become a fortress again. And yeah, yeah. These, these teams, normally when they come, uh, they should come Old Trafford with little hope. Now yeah. it's, it's almost like a 50 50, so um, it's important to. to uh, Uh, to uh, respect uh, the opponent and by respect you mean be as aggressive as possible and, and win the game. Yeah, Harry could be playing uh, at the beginning because he's, he was out before and uh, you need to to give some time to my father and some hope. To, to rest, um, but overall, I think yeah, the, the, the strongest partnership is, is both of them, uh, and I would expect them to to be the cons, the to be the core, of the to be the, the partnership with uh, in the back line. Yeah, it's about. Yeah, playing because you need you need to play. If in that position, centre back, you know if if you start on the bench, the game there's little chance for you to come on and have game time. Uh, but uh, uh, doesn't matter. I mean, it depends on what the manager is going to be doing. Maybe he's going to rotate the players for the different competitions and. You don't go for the sake of going. You need to to assess the, the situation because sometimes it's easier to say, "Okay, I'm, I'm off." But in fact, you might as well stay and fight for the for your position. So, I think it depends for Ari. It's really really up to him uh, to to assess the situation and uh, see if he, he can find. A way to to play at United and, and be the the be the, the rock solid he was, you know, come back to his to his best. He's he's shown with England that he's on that on that path. I think he's not far, so um, he has to to continue and fight. I think uh, the team should continue. They are on the right path, but uh, again, the uh, consistency that Man City, Arsenal are showing in Liverpool in the previous season, um, that's what uh, United is to aim for excellency at every game. And you can't have a good game and, and one average and one bad one before you go to a good game again. So. I think that's what uh, needs to be needs to be done. Um, 
and then they can be hope that in the, in the midterm the, the team can go back to fighting position for the title. Yeah, big game. I think Arsenal will continue will continue to to march, and I think they should beat West Ham uh, for the opening opening game uh, because they've they've shown that uh, doesn't really matter what they play against. They they play the same type of football. They finish the chances. They are pretty good defensively, and um, yeah, they. They did have a lot of players involved towards the the end of the competition. So yeah, they've got they lost Jesus, but I think they will be uh, they will be in good shape against West Ham.